I've always wanted to make a video where I'm starting and sitting and drinking some hot cocoa. So now, uh, mission accomplished. Hey everyone, it's Jeff. I hope you're doing well. Due to the fact that 2016 is in full force, I wanted to make this video. The video series that I was a part of with a lot of wonderful human beings and Ashley Mardell went live, and you can find that here. It is the everything asexual and aromantic video series and it was wonderful it's a trilogy and it is going to be such an educational and wonderful resource for everybody the asexual and aromantic communities are kind of overlooked in a lot of ways and now that resource is available so that's awesome i'm really excited that i was able to be a part of that i'm also making this video because i like being the most authentic version of myself as i possibly can be and to answer the most frequently asked question that I get, am I gay or straight? <laughs> and while I recognize that that is a very limiting question, this is my identity. Over the last few years, I've grown and rediscovered myself as I became more comfortable with who I am as a person, and I wanted to talk about that for a bit. I finally come to terms with the fact that I am both demi-romantic and also demisexual, and what that means for me is that I don't feel a romantic or sexual attraction to a person unless I know them fairly well and we have some close bond. I am typically attracted to those who are female identified, but I can't rule out non-binary people either. That's just how it's gone for me in the past. So essentially, if I'm walking down the street and I see a stranger, I can recognize that they are aesthetically pleasing and that they're an attractive person, but my head doesn't automatically go to, damn, I want to have sex with them, or damn, I want to take them out on a date and hold hands and kiss and do those things. For a long time, I felt like I was weird or broken because I didn't feel attractions the way that most of my peers did or my friends, and that was really difficult for me. Then I found a label that worked for me. Then I found something that made me feel like I wasn't alone and that I wasn't broken. I'm not ashamed that I'm on both the ace and arrow spectrum anymore. I'm not ashamed that this is how my body reacts to things. How I experience attraction is just fine. From a gender identity standpoint, for those of you who don't know, I came out as trans about four and a half years ago now. And when I came out, I felt like I had to be just a man. I had to be a trans man. I had to identify with that binary. And then as I was on testosterone and becoming more comfortable with myself, that just wasn't clicking for me. That just wasn't, that label wasn't clicking for me. So I came across the word transmasculine and again, something clicked. I realized that I didn't have to identify with the binary and <laughs> everything that I have, everything that I was feeling is completely valid. And so I adopted the term transmasculine. I now identify as that currently. And to me, it means that I was assigned female at birth but I'm somewhere on the masculine spectrum, but I don't fully identify as a man. And whether or not that's due to the fact of what a man is like socially constructed to be in this society, I don't know. All I know is that I feel more comfortable when people call me a person, a human being, things like that, and don't use gendered language for me. So yeah, I'm also non-binary, which is part of the reason why I'm wearing this wonderful shirt that says, Out of This Binary, and that was made by the group Ways to Raise. I will link them down below. This is one of my favorite shirts currently, and I think it's wonderful. Also, if you're struggling with where you're at on a sexual or romantic orientation, or even with your gender identity, you are not alone, and it is okay to be confused, it is okay to feel the way that you're feeling. I just wanted you to know that. 